Hi guys, James at Rampant Lion Reviews again for you today with another beer review. For this one we are going to do something a little bit different. We're going to head to Greece and it's not often that I get to review Greek beer for you on the channel here. But we're going to visit the Olympic Brewery and have a taste of one of the famous Fix beers. So tonight we're having a taste of Fix Dark which is a 5.2% Schwarz beer. And I've heard very good things about this beer. It's supposed to be a really nice, quite enjoyable, sessionable beer. And a big shout out to my friend Georgios who's from Thessaloniki. He recommends me this beer and I'm sure I'll get to visit him in Greece at some point soon. You might get to see some more Greek micro-brewed beers reviewed sometime in early next year. I should be going down there to visit him at some point very soon. So yeah, um, as always with my beer reviews then, I'll tell you a little bit about the brewery. If you do want to get straight to the tasting, just fast forward. All the usual links are in the description below. That's the brewery website, the link to my future reviews that hopefully I can do from Fix and the Olympic Brewery. This is the very first time I'm trying one of their beers, of course. There's all the usual social media if you want to see more beer reviews do subscribe to the channel the whole channel uses a geography based tagging system so if you're interested in beer from a particular country city or state you can go into the channel homepage and search for that do check out the sake and whiskey reviews as well as the interviews and other stuff that you'll find in the channel and as always please do get in touch and let me know some of the other beers and breweries that you guys would like to see me review especially those of you watching in Greece but your input and your support of the channel is always hugely appreciated so anyway to tell you a little bit about Fakes Brewery and the Olympic Brewery of course as well. So Fix Brewery is based in Athens in Greece and it was founded in 1864 by the Fuchs family who actually came to Greece from Bavaria with King Otto and at this point Greece of course was recovering from its liberation from the Ottoman Empire of course but under Karl Fuchs the brewery grew to become the first major brewery in Greece and they actually exported their beer to various different Mediterranean countries so Karl Fuchs was known in Greek as Carolos Ioannou Fix, and he moved the, moved to Heraklion after his father had been shot in Magafana and he actually set up the brewery in Kolonaki and a few years later in 1870 they opened their first beer house on the Ardito slopes which is actually called Metz and it was named of course after a battle between France in Germany in the city of Metz but he later moved the company to Seguru Avenue in order to expand and at this time he was married with two sons so Carlos died in 1922 and he left the brewery to Yanis and Antonis who actually set up a big malt house for the brewery and also massive cooling facilities as well but the brewery apparently had an almost complete monopoly of the Greek beer market until the 1960s when some when several other soft drink companies also began brewing beer but international competition really affected the brewery sales and and the company eventually went out of business in 1983. So in 1995 the fixed trademarks were bought by Dekur Takis Wineries from the National Bank of Greece who'd actually acquired them during the liquidation of the old brewery and uh, an agreement was made with the Olympic Brewery to produce Fix Hellas using a label reminiscent of the original Fix Beer but the new Fix Beer was really not a financial success and in 2009 the Olympic Brewery was sold to Hitos and the Fix Beer was out of commission for a certain period of time but in 2010 it was relaunched using a new label and an advertising campaign which really focused on the strong kind of heritage of the Fix name and, the, and this really kind of promoted the sales of it actually it started to do very well but a new brewery was constructed in Rizona in Athens in 2010 and further expansions have been carried out on this in subsequent years but in 2015 the Olympic and Mythos breweries mares and this has really given further prominence to the Fix brand so it's supported by two big Greek breweries like I say the Olympic brewery and now the Mythos brewery so I guess it's right to say that this beer comes from the Olympic Mythos group in Greece so Fix beer like I say it has quite a big heritage in Greece and it's really cool that they actually recovered it and managed to, to introduce this beer again so it's based and this is probably why of course they brew this one as a, a Schwarz beer an old German beer style but it should be really nice and I have to admit I do like how it's presented here in this little Belgian stubby bottle so they have this guy here they have the fix Hellas the fix dark and they also have a fix vice as well so hopefully I can review those for you at some point on the channel but I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look on the artwork of this one before we open it up so there you can see it is presented in this really nice little Belgian style stubby bottle there you can see the fix dark bottle cap on this one which is nicely presented there. So like I said to you at the start of the video, this one is a 5.2% Schwarz beer and it should be really quite nice. So we'll get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting then. So yeah. So nice smoky opening on this beer as we open it up and we'll get it out and into the glass. And I tell you something, when you open this up, you can really smell some of this nice black malt and a little bit of the toasted caramel 
that must be in this beer. So yeah, as you can see, and as you would expect from a Schwarz beer, this one has poured a really nice dark ebony rosewood colour. I'll just turn on the light here and let you see the colour of this beer. So as you can see, it's poured this really nice ebony rosewood colour. If I hold it up to the light, there is maybe a little ruby tinge to the edge of it. It's got a half finger of a frothy beige tan head, some big bubbles sticking towards the side of the glass, but quite a few little ones just going up towards the bottom of that head there. If I put my fingers behind it, you can see there's no real transparency to that, but that's just because the beer itself is so dark in colour. But yeah, it looks very nice, exactly what you'd expect from a Schwarz beer, so we'll give it a smell and see how we get on. So yeah, let's sugar this beer up and see what we can get. Oh yeah. So this one's got a really nice black malt character to it actually. You can smell this nice sweet brown bready character as well. It's got this really nice almost German rye bread character to it. Some sweet caramel on top of that. A little bit toasted mind you as well. There's almost a tiny little bit of a, an almost meaty character to this one. It's quite interesting. But there's some nice kind of roasted black malts to this. The caramel, the toasted caramel for me is really prominent in this one. But it's got that nice sweet German rye bread base to this. It smells really, really interesting. This there's a little bit of earthy hop coming out of this as well, and maybe a little bit of red fruity ester. But for me, really, it's the black malt that's coming out. Not quite coffee bean, but that kind of a uh, roasted German black malt that you can get. Some nice German. I don't know if you would say pumpernickel bread, but that nice German almost rye bready character coming out of this one. There's a bit of toasted caramel in there, some sweeter and richer caramel to this beer as well. Maybe a little bit of biscuity, grainy character, but some nice earthy hop and a little bit, just a little bit of red fruity ester coming out of this one. But it smells really nice. The caramel is really prominent in this one, as are the bready aromas. So before you get the chance to try this beer, just take a little bit and just take a little bit of time and enjoy the aroma of it because it is quite interesting. And of course, like I said, it's not often that you do get to try Greek beer. So I feel really lucky that I've got to try this one. I'll give a shout out once again to Georgios in Thessaloniki in Greece. And I hope you guys watching over there are enjoying this review. Slanja just now will get stuck in to Feeks Dark from the Olympic Brewery in Athens. Cheers. Yeah, that's nice. It's a really nice beer, I mean it's very light and that's one thing that can be a little bit unusual about the Schwarz beers, but I mean this beer, you have to remember, this beer is coming from Greece, a ridiculously hot country, so in, in a way it is kind of unusual that you would find a beer this dark in Greece anyway, but that goes some way to explain and why the mouthfeel is so light. But that's nice. And it's very very smooth as well so the middle of your palate you're just it's just kind of blankety with this light almost brown kind of rye bready character you can just feel that in the middle of your palate but it's a bit lighter than that i would say there's some nice biscuity grainy character in there you're also getting some of the roasted black malt out of this beer as well but that's lovely you know, it's really light and drinkable, which of course is, is something in Greece that you want, you know, you, and that's what I can see with this beer, you know, this would be ideal for you, even in the piping hot sun that you're going to get on the Greek islands and stuff. This is a really easy going, sessionable Schwarz beer. Yeah. So the middle of your palate, like I say, you've got this German kind of brown bread base to it. There's a bit of almost sweet chocolatey character to this one. I'm getting some toasted caramel malt in there as well. There's a little bit of that biscuity, cereally character too. The malt base on this one, of course, is where the focus of the beer is. The carbonation has a little bit of a prickle too, so it may, that helps make the beer really quite smooth and drinkable. You get a little bit of prickle initially and then it becomes very smooth and it just flows really easily. At the back corners of the palate I'm getting some nice earthy hop characters. You come further forward you can feel it smooth out. It's not quite as dry as you come further forward but there's maybe just a little bit of grassiness as you go around the front curve of the tongue but overall it really is more <coughs> pardon me of a sort of 
earthy hop character that's coming out of this one. But yeah, that's really nice. There's a little tiny bit of a red fruity ester behind the front curve of the tongue there, but that's really quite minimal. Really, the focus of this beer is on the sort of brown bready base that has a little bit of the roasty black malts that are in there. There's a sweet chocolatey element, some sweet caramel, like I said, and some nice biscuity character as well. But overall, it's a really, really quite nice beer. You know, and that's the thing that's interested me about this one is the fact that it's so light, but it is a darker beer style that maybe is more of a kind of a sipper beer, if you like. This one is a really easily drinkable uh, Schwarz beer, I would say. Really, really nicely done. And I have to admit, um, even when you're reviewing craft beers and stuff like that, one thing I do that I do actually like, I do quite enjoy the Greek lagers. I do quite like the feel that some of the Greek beers have, just because they're quite light and easy going. And this one really kind of carries on in that spirit. So in terms of the mouthfeel of this beer, I'd say this guy is kind of light to mid-bodied. Quite smooth carbonation, I would say. The, it has a little bit of a prickle initially, but then that really helps the beer smooth out. It's got a little bit of an oily mouthfeel to it, this one, but overall it is quite wet. And like I said, that is what you'd expect from a Greek beer, simply because of the temperatures there. They want this beer to be easily drinkable for uh, for the people in the country, regardless of what the temperature actually is. There's a nice bit of sweetness from the malt base. There is a little bit of dryness in there too from the roasted malt characters and also a little bit of the kind of biscuity cereal thing. There's a little bit of dryness from the earthy hops, but other than that, this beer is very smooth. It's got a little bit of sweetness to it and it goes down very, very easy. So this one, for me, is quite unusual in the fact that it's such a sessionable Schwarz beer. I enjoy a Schwarz beer just uh, to kind of taste it and kind of see how you get on with it. But this is one that you really could session. It's very, very nice. So a big thumbs up to fix for this one and to the Olympic Brewery for brewing it. So yeah, um, really cool to do a, a, a Greek beer review for the first time in quite some time, actually. I always enjoy doing beers from different countries and hopefully I can get down to Greece and review some more Greek micro-brewed beers and some other Greek beers as well. Always cool to try beers from different countries, like I say. But do let me know in the comment section below your own thoughts on this beer and the brewery. It's always interesting to hear from you guys that are watching the videos. And for those of you watching in Greece, please do get in touch and let me know some of the other micro-brewed beers and things that you would like me to review. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. I hope I've not butchered your language too badly with some of the pronunciations. It can always be difficult with that when you're producing word, when you're uh, pr pronouncing words from a different language that you don't understand so well. But thank you once again for watching my beer reviews. Until the next time, please like, subscribe, share, all the usual YouTube stuff. Go and check out all my usual social media. But if you haven't already, make sure you try the Fixed Dark. It's really nice and quite a, a, a lovely, light, sessionable Schwarz beer from Fakes Brewery or from the Fakes Range from the Olympic Brewery in Athens in Greece. So it's Slanja just now and I will catch you soon. Make sure you try some Greek beers if you haven't already and the Fakes Dark is a pretty nice place to start. Slanja just now and I'll catch you very soon. Cheers.